Hi everyone, welcome back. This is lesson number three, a game that I call Lightning Maze. You're going to like this one a lot, I'm sure of it. Hey, I've already typed in scratch.mit.edu and I'm here at the homepage. I'm going to hit the create button because we're creating a brand new game today. And if you could just watch for this first little while, I'm going to show you some of the tricks today before you start coding. Hey, I'm going to get rid of the tutorial because I'm doing the tutorial, so goodbye to that. I'm also going to say goodbye to the cat because I'm going to get a different sprite. So I'm going to trash can a cat. Goodbye, cat. And I'm going to get a new sprite down here. So I'm going to click choose a sprite. And the sprite that works for me for this game is the beetle. You can choose whatever you want when it's your turn. But for me, it's going to be the beetle. And I'm going to make the beetle a little bit smaller for my game. Right now is 100%. So I'm going to make them like uh, 50%. Perfect. Now, all of these sprites, the cats, beetles, gigas, whatever, they all have a pen attached to them. But the pen is invisible and the pen is up in the air. So I'm going to code it so that the pen is down on the ground because we're going to make like a drawing kind of game today. So watch how I do that because it's tricky the first time, but you'll be a pro after that. Right now, there are no pen code here. Do you see that? No pen code. I have to go down here to the bottom, right down there. To click there to get the pen code right there so I'm gonna click pen right there so now I've got all this pen code see pen right there and pen and I did that by clicking here I clicked down there I clicked on pen and there's my new pen code wonderful so now the beetle when the green flag is clicked I'll make that a bit bigger so you can see when the green flag is clicked I want to go to the pen pen down Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, put the pen down. I'm also going to have him move 10 steps just to test this out. So let's see, ready, green flag, and go. See that? He's making a drawing line, so that's kind of cool. But I have something way better than that. You're going to enjoy this. Do you see my mouse pointer moving? It's the black arrow there. That's my mouse pointer. I can set it up so that the beetle turns and looks at my mouse pointer. And that's important because it's going to make for a really cool trick. So watch how I do that. I think it's under motion point towards yeah see this one right there point towards mouse pointer so i want the beetle to put the pen down then i want him to look at the mouse pointer and then move 10 steps so here i'm on the green flag when i click the green flag the beetle should turn and look at me at my mouse pointer and then take 10 steps perfect see that he's coming towards my mouse pointer but i've got even even better trick so i'm going to pull it down and i'm going to put a forever loop around it so now the beetle is going to forever look at the mouse pointer, move 10 steps. Look at the mouse pointer, move 10 steps over and over again. Ready? Watch what happens. Green flag and go. Ah, he's chasing my mouse pointer and I can make like a drawing game. That's kind of cool. Except, oi, 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 he's going way too fast and he's stressing me out. So I'm going to make the beetle slow down a little bit. Look, I'm going to go here and grab this weight one second. So now forever point to the mouse pointer. Move 10 steps, wait a second, then do it again and again and again. Do it forever. Watch, green flag ready and go. Perfect. Well, no, it's not perfect. He's going too, way too slowly. So look, I'm going to speed it up again. Uh, 0 0.5. So wait only 0 0.5 seconds. Wait half a second. Oh, that's a little better. Not quite perfect. I'm going to try, I think I remember 0 0.2 works well for me. Okay, let's see, green flag and go. Perfect. So now I've got this nice drawing game. So um, teachers, you're going to pause in a moment. Students, you're going to go to scratchmit.edu. You're going to hit the create button. You're going to get rid of the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You're also going to get rid of the cat. So a trash can of cat. Click a new sprite. I chose this beetle. You choose whatever you want. And then remember, you got to go get the pen extension. And the pen extension is right down here. You click there. Click pen. And then you've got all your pen code there. And then green flag, pen down, and forever point to the mouse pointer. Move 10 steps, wait 0 0.2 seconds. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And so teachers, if you can pause it now, and I'll see you in a few minutes for the next trick. All right, I hope you're enjoying this drawing game so far. You're going to like the next part a lot too. Um, but look, there's a little bit of a glitch here. Look, when I hit the green flag, all the old pen mark is still there. I don't like that. Every time I hit the green flag, I want to start off with a fresh new page. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the pen blocks and I'm going to grab this one, erase all. So when the green flag is clicked, erase all the old stuff, then pen down and then start following my mouse pointer. 
Let's just test that out. Ready? Green flag and perfect. Okay, so see that fresh new page? Wonderful. I'm also going to give my beetle a starting spot, but instead of the middle 0, 0, I want my beetle to start way down here in the corner for this game, and you'll see why in a little while. So watch what I can do. I'm going to move my beetle down here, and I want him to start right around there. You can see the position of the beetle. Right now is at negative 202 and negative 125. That's kind of where I want the beetle to start. So watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go to motion. Uh, I'm going to say go to right there, go to, and I'm going to make them start just at a, like a rounded number, negative 200, negative 125. So he should start down here. So ready, green flag again. Perfect. So my beetle starts in the corner. I have a fresh page. Great. Teachers, I'm going to ask you to pause in a minute. Students, your job is to give your beetle a starting spot, and I would choose down here in the bottom corner. If you want to use the same numbers or coordinates that I did, no problem. And then remember, you got to put an erase all to get all rid of all that old stuff. So uh, we're going to pause now, and I'm going to see you in a few minutes for the next trick. Okay, I hope that's all going well for you. Now we're going to turn this um, screen into a maze, a maze that the beetle has to get through. Watch how I can how I do that, and then you can do that next. So I'm going to go get another sprite. So I'm going to click choose a sprite. And the sprite I want, and usually I let you choose whatever sprite you want, but today I'm going to suggest that you use the same one I am. So could everybody please use the lightning? Where is it here? Lightning. Did I miss the lightning? There it is right there, lightning. So I'm going to get a lightning bolt, and I'm going to move it right over there. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back down here and get another lightning bolt, a second lightning bolt. There it is right there. Now I'm going to move that maybe right up there. Now I'm going to get a third lightning bolt. That's three lightning bolts. Come on. There we go. Wonderful. And I'm going to move that one right there. Whoops, I got a butterfly in there somehow. I'm going to get rid of the butterfly. So goodbye to the butterfly. Now I've started to make a little bit of a maze. I've chosen three lightning bolts. You can choose three lightning bolts or four lightning bolts or five lightning bolts. But now look what happens. Ready? Green flag again. Now I've got this maze to get through, this lightning bolt maze to steer my beetle through. Yikes. Okay, so that is your job now is to go to the sprites button and get a bunch of lightning bolts and put them in different places to make a, a maze for yourself, okay? So, teachers, if you could pause here, students, your job is to make a maze using lightning bolts, and I'll see you in a few minutes when you're ready for the next part. Okay, next thing. You know, somebody coming to play your game, they wouldn't know what you're supposed to do. Are you supposed to, like, hit the lightning bolts, get through them, who knows? We gotta give some uh, kind of instructions, but I'm gonna do it differently this time. Watch what I'm gonna do this time. Uh, this time I'm going to go down here and instead of clicking choose a sprite, I'm going to click this paintbrush. See paintbrush right there? I'm going to click paintbrush. Now I'm going to choose a color. Maybe I'll choose a nice bright red, let's say that. Then I'm going to choose a letter T for text right there, T. And I'm going to write the word start. There we go. Click over here somewhere. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger like that. Wonderful. Now there's the word start. I'm just going to grab it. It might be hard to grab. you got to click right on the red. And I'm going to move it right down there. Now I'm going to do it again. So i got to go down here and click the word the paintbrush again. Okay, so a second time click paintbrush. Choose a different color maybe. I'm going to choose a nice dark green, let's say. A nice bright green. There we go. And click on T for text. And I'm going to write the word finish. Perfect. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to click down here and make it a bit bigger right there. Wonderful. Now I'm going to grab the word finish and I'm going to put it up here. So now people kind of get the idea. Oh, I got to get all the way to the finish line without hitting these lightning bolts. That's perfect. Wonderful. So, so far, so good. Hey, if you want to change the direction of some of your lightning bolts, you can right now. See, all the lightning bolts are facing a 90 degree or at 90 degrees. We can change that. For example, I'll click on this lightning bolt right there. That's that one. Okay, I clicked on that. And I'm going to change the degrees a little bit. So I'm going to make it maybe go sideways. If you want, you can do that. 
I don't know if I like that, but whatever. You can change the direction of your lightning bolt. Just kind of click on the lightning bolt that you want, then click in the direction, and you can change it a little bit like that. So now your job is to put a start and finish line in. Your job is to maybe make your maze a bit more tricky with the lightning bolts, the direction. You can make your beetle bigger or smaller. I suppose you can make your lightning bolts smaller too. So if you click on a lightning bolt, you can make it instead of 100%, you can make it 50% or you can make it really big at 130%. You'll have to experiment a little bit. So teachers, I'm going to go back to code and go on to Beetle. Teachers, your job, uh, if the kids could get going on this next part, if you want to pause here and I'll be waiting for the next trick. All right, so far so good. My beetle is going through the maze nicely. I hope your maze looks good. But hey, you know what? Let's see what happens if I hit one of these lightning bolts. Ready? And nothing. Something should happen if I hit the lightning bolt. Well, look what we're going to do. I'm going to set it up so that we're going to use that space bar trick again. So if he hits the lightning bolt, his color is going to change. And then one more cool thing. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move this over to this code. I'm going to go get another green flag. When the green flag is clicked, if touching the lightning bolt, right? So if, 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 touching. But instead of touching the lightning bolt, because I got three different lightning bolts, I'm going to do something a bit uh, e e easier. I'm going to say if touching the color yellow, because they're all the same yellow. That's why we chose lightning bolts. So if we touch the color yellow, then he changes his color effect and all that stuff. So if. Touching. Touching is a sense, so it's under the sensing. Color. See this one? Touching color. I know it's not yellow, it's green, but that's okay for now. I'm going to drag it over here, and once it's over here, I'm going to let go. So now look. When the green flag is clicked, if touching yellow. We need this to be yellow. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to click it, and I'm going to go get the sampling button right down there. Do you see this? You can go get a sample. I'm going to click that right there. Now I'm going to go and get a sample of the yellow. Click. Perfect. Now this is the exact same yellow as this. Watch how I did that. I clicked in here. I got the sampling button. And then I went over and got a yellow. So now it's the same. So when the green flag is clicked, if touching color yellow, and I'm going to go to the looks, and we'll just make them change his color effect. Change color effect. Let's just test that out. Ready? So ready, touching yellow, he should change color, and nothing happens. Well, again, like last time, remember, it only checked once when the green flag was clicked. We have to tell the computer to check over and over again, like a hundred times a second. So forever check to see if touching the color yellow. So right there, forever if touching color yellow, change color effect. Ready? Green flag. And let's see. Ready? Perfect. See my beetles changing colors? Wonderful. You can also add change mosaic and change whirl and all that kind of stuff if you like. But you know what? There's one thing I think we should all do. If they do touch the lightning bolt, your beetle should go back to the beginning, I think. So look how I'm going to do that. If touching color yellow, change color effect, great. But then go to back to the beginning. Go to and whatever we put the beginning, negative 200, negative 125. So if touching color yellow, go to negative 200. Oops, negative... 200 and negative 125. Perfect. He should go all the way back to the beginning. Ready? Green flag. Okay, let's test it out. Oh, he goes back to the beginning. But look, I don't like that old, that old pen mark there. So I'm going to change that. So if touching color yellow, change color effect. Great. Go back to the beginning. Great. Pen. Erase all the old pen stuff. So there we go, erase all the old stuff like that inside the loop. Green flag, let's test this out now, ready? Okay, what happens if he touches the yellow? Perfect, look at that. So when he touched the yellow, and remember how I got the yellow, I clicked there, I got the sampling button, and I went and got an exact same color yellow. Then the beetle's gonna change its color effect, that's in the looks. He went back to the beginning, which was negative 200, negative 125, and he erased all the old pen stuff. So, teachers, we're going to pause there. Students, if you get stuck, please, please copy my code, and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes for the next part.
Okay, so last couple tricks for today. Um, you notice the word finish. See, I typed the word finish there. The computer calls it sprite number two. So this is called sprite number two, the word finish. So look what I'm going to do. If the beetle touches the word finish, game over. Watch how I do that. I'm going to get another green flag. So green flag, if touching, sprite two. So if, 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 right there in the control, if. If touching, and touching is a sense, touching. I know not mouse pointer, but if I hold it over there, great. I'm going to say if touching, sprite number two. See, that's called sprite number two right there. That's sprite number two. And I'm going to put a forever around this. So forever, if touching, sprite number two. Have the beetle say, hooray, we win, or something like that. So I'm going to get the looks button, say, oops, I'll grab that. So when a green flag is clicked, forever check to see if touching sprite number two, which is the finish line. If it is touching sprite number two, then say, hooray, you win. And I'll have him say that for two seconds. Fantastic. So a green flag. And great. So when he gets to the finish line, the beetle should say, hooray. That is if I can get through without touching the lightning. Again, I'm good at coding these games, but I'm not good at playing these games. So let's see what happens. Ready? Perfect. It says, hooray, you win. Wonderful. So you've got that. Um, you'll notice I didn't put a background on here. Because sometimes in the background, there might be the exact same color yellow that's in the lightning, and that would confuse the computer. So I didn't include a background today. Hey, last thing, I know people are asking how they can save some of these games. And um, there is a way to do that, no problem. But what you need to do is to create an account. So my suggestion is you go home tonight and get your parents to help you because you need a real email address. So um, you should use your own email address. If you don't have one, use your parents' email address. But click here, look, join Scratch. You click join Scratch, it's going to ask your name, where you live, and all that kind of stuff. But it's also going to ask for an email. You have to put a real email in there. Because once you do, then Scratch is going to send you a message saying, is this really you? And you're going to have to respond, yes, it's me, via your email. And so once you've done that, then you have an account. And then you can save your game. You can go to File, Save Now, and you can have a whole bunch of your games saved to work on later and to play later. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, game, Lightning Maze. I hope you're going to go home tonight and get a Scratch account, get your parents to help you, use a real email address. And then you can start saving your games, making other games, and uploading them, and all sorts of great stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I will see you tomorrow because we're going to have another good one or next time. We're going to have another great lesson next time. You're going to like the next one. It's a cool patterning and drawing game kind of like Spirograph. Okay, bye-bye.